So I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I was very, very hesitant to write down my New Year's goals. I was like, hmm, if I feel like this, I bet you other people do too. So if you've been hesitant to write them down, I want to just show you guys my method and like how I broke these down um, into goals and also actionable steps and how I'm planning on holding myself accountable. So without further ado, let's just jump in. The first step with writing your goals down is just grab a scrap piece of paper. It doesn't have to be on your nice new planner. It doesn't have to be like set in stone. It just has to be written down on a piece of paper. It could be a scrap piece of paper just so that you can brain dump what you would like to do. I want you to focus on though three main results. And what I mean by that is all of us have goals, right? We have those goals of like, okay, I want to, let's say, become a teacher or I want to lose 10 pounds. What is your real result from trying to do that? Is it you trying to get a new job? Is it you trying to graduate school? Is it you trying to get abs? What is the true result of your goal? The true objective of your goal? Write those three down. If you have more than three goals, try to narrow it down to three because if you do more than three, I feel like it's a little overwhelming. And then with the, within those goals, because sometimes what we have, we'll have a big, big goal in mind, but we don't realize that we have to take smaller steps or smaller bite-sized goals in order to get to the main goal. So what I have for my three main goals to give you an example is I want to prioritize God. Number two is get my routines down. And then number three is to get abs. <laughs> and so for the main goals, I have three subcategories to kind of break them down into actionable steps. I have here for the first one, prioritize God. The subcategories that I have for that is the first hour that I wake up, I'll spend with God. Two is memorize three verses a month. And number three is to give more, whether it's my time or it's actual giving, giving. I have those three subcategories, but the main goal is to prioritize God. I hope that makes sense. Let me know down in the comments below if you have questions, but I'll keep moving forward with the second goal. Second one is get routines down. And what do I mean by that is subcategory, write a morning routine down. And the second subcategory is write a, a night routine down. And the third is get on an exercise schedule. Okay, all of these are written down so I can just follow this routine in the morning. I don't have to think about you know, what to do, I'll already know what to do so that I can get routines down and be more consistent with that. And then number three is the get abs. If I don't get my six pack out of the cooler in 2023, I don't know what I'm gonna do. The subcategories that I have here for that goal is wake up at 5 a.m., eat healthier, and then number three is exercise regularly, and you can see that kind of goes in with number two. Now, how are you gonna hold your, yourself accountable for these goals? You can talk to your friends about it and be like, hey y'all, like I'm trying to do this, hold me accountable. But sometimes your friends might forget and that's okay. But what you could do is have daily and weekly tasks for you to complete in order for you to make traction on your goals. Remember, motivation is kind of your jump starter and then consistency is the traction towards your results. Practice makes progress so you want to make sure that you're doing something actively every day and every week towards the results of your goals. So I wrote down some daily tasks and weekly tasks and just to give you an example and then I'll show you what I mean. So for prioritize God, my daily task is a habit tracker to like, you know, mark on my habit tracker. Okay, am I spending that hour with God? And then my weekly task is to assess my habit tracker to see if I've been consistent. So my second goal is get routines down and so my daily task is to check Notion for my routine, just to, you know, overview what it is. And then secondly, to mark it in my habit tracker that I have completed it. And then the third goal that I have is to get up. So I have to, number one, set an alarm every day for waking up earlier so I can exercise. And then number two is um, to note down in my habit tracker if I have completed that exercise um, goal for the day. 
and then my weekly tasks for all of them are to do that weekly habit tracker assessment to see what's working and what isn't because sometimes when we set goals and we think that we're this person and then we actually try it out and we realize I'm not that person. <laughs> we have to kind of reevaluate if that is a goal that we really, really do want to complete and, I, I'm, and I'm, I can assure you that I think a lot of us want to complete our goals, we will readjust so that it can fit our lifestyle a little bit better or we'll readjust to see what's working and what isn't so that way we can better complete this and get progress going so that we can complete this goal. I just want to show you guys what I mean by a habit tracker. So I have this app, it's just called Habit. I have like some of my daily tasks already written out and then I can tap on the task and tap done so that I can complete that for the day. And then when I go back, you can see here that the progress bar is already done. So that way I know I've completed that goal for the day. And I'm pretty sure it also gives you a chart of the goals that you have been completing well so that you can have that weekly assessment. And I also put the weekly assessment down in the habit tracker as well so that I can, again, hold myself accountable. So let me know down in the comments below what some of your goals are. What are your new year's resolutions? What are you trying to aim for this new year? Or maybe what your intentions are for this year. I also leave a little flower emoji in the comment section if you made it all the way to the end because we're gonna bloom, we're gonna, we're gonna flourish. <laughs> this new year <laughs> and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think and I will hope to see you in my next one god bless bye